Hello, let us come to the last part where you are actually going to see a product now, plagiarism detection software. Uh, before I start this product, product, let me tell what India wants to do in the country. For 1000 institutions, 3 lakh users, for the submission of 10 lakh documents in an year. So, I will show a small video which we used to release the Shodh Shuddhi during the launch of Shodh Shuddhi, an initiative to address all the ethical issues, academical integrity issues under one project, which has one product also. So, I am going to show that product, but this is not a promotion of the product, product may change. Uh, or depending upon the various parameter which I mentioned already, but as soon date we can show I am I have access to this product, so I will take it as a case study for you. So let us watch the two minutes video which will tell about a show shuddhi which is part of the hundred days program of this government, which is launched by the honourable HRD minister during the. Central Advised Board of Education meeting, which was on that day, the draft policy of education was discussed, where we launched the show Shuddhi in front of about 26 education minister from various state and the policy decision makers. So, let us watch this video. So, you have seen the video now, you understood that how the country is going to address the ethical issues in higher education sector in the coming years. And I should compliment and thank all the register, uh, uh, participants, e-learners here, because you got a golden opportunity of updating yourself, which is happening just in the month of September. And the university started using it. And you are very rare students in this lot who witnessed the policy decision of this government. And the same tool I am going to show you here. So with this module, we will be ending our entire research ethics workshop. So we have addressed almost all issues on that. I will be available on the mail. So let us go to see the tool which is under this Shod Shuddhi, which is called Urkun. The software is from Sweden and uh, universities in the country, 200 universities are already using the software in the last uh, three years. Even when the ten, uh, this we try to select a new software, again the same software got selected and uh, will be all, now all the 1000 university will start using it, 3 lakh users, 10 lakh documents provision is made, but if it is required, we will again increase the document submission. So this software, when we took under Shod Shuddhi, uh, one document is considered as 20 pages. So if you have a 21 page document, that will be treated as two submissions. And university, we have given a quota, soft cap based on the research scholar and faculty members. So right now the software is giving to faculty members, all permanent faculty members as well as the research scholars in the university. So let us see the screen of Urkun, that is www.urkun.com. Now, what you see is that Urkun screen and uh, you can see that how it works is there. And in top, there are few menus about services, student, partners, career block, contact, etc. Even support is there. And there is a language button next year. So this is generally, basically it is developed for English, 
and the other allied languages like Spanish, German, etc. that is still there. But if you are using unique code, even Hindi can be submitted on this. Now login button is in the right side, you click on the login button. Can, can we scroll down a little bit so that we can see? We are scrolling down what is there. Now the different services, secondary school can use, higher school and corporate also can buy the software purchase and come down again. So it is showing, if you want to take a demo, there is a form to be filled, get a sample demo on that and come down, that is come down and uh, then uh, what is the latest post, best summer and coming down to that, uh, let us quickly have a look at the last up to join our journey and all that. This is all that and who, who are the industry people and corporates using the software or where it can be integrated, all these are given and ultimately the write up is there on that and some of the report which is appear appearing. This is what is the home page stand for, but we are not. Uh, bothered about home page, we click on directly on the login. If you are a faculty member or a research scholar, you click on the login and there are two, it appears two login. One is on the left side which is for the user and other is for the right side which is for, you see Urkun Statistic Administration Tool, URSA tool. This is used to only by the university administrator as well as the national administrator. But if you are a user, you click on the left side. So we are going to click on that where orange color is there, red is for. And now you can log in. There are two ways of login into that. One is that you, there will be a user ID and password assigned to you. That generally the user ID is the, your official email ID which you give to the university coordinator or to us. So it's an email ID or the username and then password. Now right side, it also, if you are using something called Shibboleth, single sign-in, many universities in Western countries use it. India, we have started in Inflimnet. So uh, Inflimnet will be listed on that. If you are having that Shibboleth login ID credential for your university, your university should implement it, then you can use that also. That is one time, if you have already logged into Shibboleth, any application, it will directly go. As if you are, look, Facebook, if you are logged in, it will next time when Google, Gmail, it will ask you whether you continue with that similar kind of logic. So it is single sign on in the right side. But we are going right now with the left as an individual user, where you will see the username column, password, and have you forgotten your password? And this, uh, let, let me type the username now. Password is already taken because it is already spoken and click on the login. Now login may click over here. Now it has come to a screen. This is what is called the dashboard. So can you see the analysis address? This software create an analysis address in the top of it. Can we make it a little bit bigger to see that? I will make it. It has been highlighted. It has been highlighted. Now, now look, look at the analysis address highlighted IETD 2016. Actually, we have created this for our conference. So I am so showing that this dot INFL. So your institute dot, your name dot INFL, the other part m will be almost same for an analysis. So you have to remember two email ID. One is your original email ID, which will be used for login. Second one is analysis, which is created. Now this is dashboard. If you look at the dashboard in top of it, you will see that Urkun logo is there in the left side. So whenever that logo you click, it will get a refresh. And right side you have help and upload document, the most important button on the screen.